hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Yesterday's manna cannot feed today's appetite. Appetite. The presence dimension you need to carry with respect to the darkness you'll be mandated to confront. The kind of power you need that can deliver the kind of problems that God is sending in the lives of men to you. No. The power that heals a headache. It's not the power that shakes foundations. It's different. Power has levels like money, like currency. What 10 naira will buy? Huh? 100 naira will, what 100 naira will buy? 10 naira will not buy. It. That's how it is in the spirit. So grace and peace can be multiplied. There are people here seated, they have cancer. There are people here seated, they have all kinds of satanic things. High blood pressure, they are about to die. It takes more than counseling. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit in ever increasing dimensions. Even medical science is teaching us now that there are sicknesses that machines cannot exactly tell what is wrong. Today they say it's headache. Tomorrow they say it's something somewhere. Next tomorrow is another thing somewhere. How about the mysterious forces that tie down destinies? Someone wants to make progress after schooling, no job, no open doors, no nothing. A sincere pastor loving God with integrity, no membership, no open doors, no support. Give us this day. Someone is going to cry this night. Lord, give me this day the sufficiency for the journey. The sufficiency for the journey. For someone, your prayer will be, give me this day more of your presence. For someone else, your prayer will be, give me this day more of your power. For someone else, your prayer will be, give me this day greater wisdom. Give me this day greater understanding. Give me this day knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. For someone, it will be, give me this day the gift of men. I need helpers at this point in my destiny. For someone else, it will be give me this day access to favor, favor for financial resources, wisdom and creativity, witty inventions, the power to be productive. Take a minute to pray, Koinonia. Sana malaka parada katabas, rakatela sana balaka praske belede bakatos. A believer is praying. Your daily bread is your inheritance in Christ. Your daily bread is your inheritance in Christ. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves. Our sufficiency, our capacity to continue, our capacity to not be in want, our capacity to have all that is needed for the journey is of God, of God our sufficiency of God and these are the dynamics of accessing your sufficiency someone pray someone pray presence weightier dimensions of your presence weightier dimensions of your presence I cry for divine presence divine presence upon my life in higher dimensions divine presence upon koinonia in higher dimensions your power your power for signs and wonders your power for extraordinary manifestations of the spirit go ahead and pray wisdom at a superior level understanding at a superior level commanding greater works for the sake of his majesty greater works exploits in ministry exploits in leadership exploits in business go ahead and pray for the gift of men help us of the war lift us prayer warriors prayer support systems 
financial help us encourage us counsel us go ahead and pray pray for divine connectors pray for men and women of influence pray for gifted people pray for burden bearers final prayer pray for the wisdom that produces wealth the wisdom that produces wealth the knowledge to transact your value and turn it into profit the gift of men go ahead and pray please pray please pray Jesus, I decree and declare at the count of three, every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies masquerading as physical problems, you must go right now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus, let them go. Release their destinies. 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 Right now, outside, inside, everywhere, I decree and declare, release their destinies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please bring them out very quickly. Release their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. Shabrekete pakatos koto preketa. I tell you, fire is falling in this place. In the name of Jesus, please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare, we are still praying. Every family that is under demonic siege, kept in one place, no movement, no progress. Right now, the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout jesus again 
Lord, every family under attack, we bring the spirits behind it under arrest. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Release the families now. Release the families now. Release the families now. Release the destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to declare your release. Open your mouth and begin to declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. I declare liberty for my life, liberty for my family, liberty. Liberty. Liberty, liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and he's saying, remove the mark of disfavor. There are many physically, there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you. That even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Papa Katos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Carry out this favor. Marriage out this favor. Financial disfavor be removed from your life. Abracatoshka never read the photo paratosiata. Cafrenda Vasa Seketa Lecotusia. Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you the truth. Look up, please. This favor is a very terrible thing. When a man does not carry the favor of God in his life, you're not going to be able to make progress. The number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people, it should not be so. No! Your life can't be indefinitely tied down. Nobody thinking about you to help you. Nobody calling for your help. I say it again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you? By the power of the Holy Ghost, I clear it out of your life right now. Clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. 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 Be from it now be delivered from it now be delivered from it now it's a miracle service whatever is making people reject you I'm saying it again in the name of Jesus let it be destroyed from your life rejecting you in office Rejecting you everywhere in the name of Jesus be free from it right now <laughs> Hallelujah Now hear me, please pay attention. I Don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead Seeing them in your dreams. Can I tell you? In most cases all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing. It doesn't mean every dead face. Of course, there are spirits of just men made perfect. But it is the devil in most cases masquerading 
to reinitiate the process of untimely death. Let me pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege. You have been having dreams of dead people calling you. You have no business. Listen, the living and the dead have nothing in common. I pray for you by the fire that is of the Holy Ghost. Oh, death, oh, death, oh, death, oh, death. Release the families now. Release God's people now. Oh, grave, take your hands away from their destinies. Take your hands away from their families. Take your hands away. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then the spirit that makes women the men in a, in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it when it has to do with responsibility and provision the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there i decree and declare that demonic anomaly we exchange it back to its proper place we exchange it back to its proper place hear me hear me any man here that is not able to cater for your family by the anointing of the spirit i empower your hand to be productive i empower your hand to be productive the honor and the dignity that comes with being a man let it speak in your life and i pray for every woman here that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order in the name of Jesus for your sake may God empower your husband for your sake may God empower the men in your life in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray are you ready for the second prayer point say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost every word assigned to announce me everyone assigned to help me everyone assigned to help me find visibility I command their ministries now open your mouth and pray it takes men used by God to help men rise someone is praying everyone assigned by the Spirit of the Living God for my rising for my visibility a sign for my rising if you are joseph pray over pharaoh that pharaoh will be used by god for your rising if you are daniel pray for nebuchadnezzar to be used by god for your rising is someone praying where are the helpers joseph of arimathea Simeons of Cyrene, the Naomi's, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, the Bible says, nor sworn deceitfully, that he shall receive a blessing from the Lord. And then, here is the ultimate test. Whoever is Lord in this earth must be able to go out of this earth and come back at will. That was the one test no other deity passed. Because you see, according to the law of territory, once you come out of this domain, someone inside must be the one to call you back. You can't bring yourself inside. So all other gods exited this earth but those gates did not open for them to come back and here is this one who came out by himself and when he was about to return the gate said there was a proclamation lift up your heads 
O ye gates, and be lifted, O ye ancient doors. Listen carefully. Why? It says that the king of glory may come in. Hold on. And the gates ask a question. Many have come trying to enter back, but who is this king of glory? And it says the Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. And the gates opened, and he stepped into this realm and said, All hail, all power, authority, exousia has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Go, go with that backing. Go with that consciousness that your defender is the Lord. is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by listen to me there are two people who will shout under the anointing now please bring them up please make sure that uh they are defending just saw this in the spirit we're praying now i just saw a strong anointing just two people one loud shout to the hearing of everybody please bring them up please bring them so the bible says the woman wearing blue my dear lift your hands i'm seeing oil coming on your head right now bring her out you are the covenant keeping god from now go and write it your life will change in a way that you will never forget it. I speak to you by the Spirit of God I stretch my hands towards you listen to me my friend look at me remember once upon a time in the land of Samaria a prophet came and said by this time tomorrow and a foolish man said even if God will open the heavens uh -uh. and he said you will see it just to witness that God does not lie but you will not partake of it Remember the Bible says, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. They limited God by saying, can God make a way? Can God make a way? This lady, my dear, in the name of Jesus, the yoke of witchcraft, I curse it now from your life and from your family. For it is written, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible declares that he nailed it to his cross. He nailed it to his cross. The victory of Jesus is complete. The victory of Jesus is a fact. But it remains theory until there is faith and understanding that translates that reality here and now my friend you go back rejoicing in the name of jesus the christ of god hallelujah one two three four five years you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb five years who is that please don't be embarrassed i will pray generally now make sure it is five years exactly one two three four five the lord is showing me this who is that i want to pray for you mama you, are you standing for yourself i'm seeing your daughter what's her name i want to pray for you hold on madam don't worry i will pray for you 
is your daughter here? England. Huh? She's Hold in on. England. She's in England. She's a medical doctor. Medical doctor. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years. How many years? 16 years. 16 years, Barry. I want to pray for you. Madam, please give this woman the mic. Are you the one trusting God for the food of the 18 people? years, yes, sir. One, three. 18. Or 18. One, eight. You, yes, 18. Yes, Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. You see, let me tell you this. Before you believe a man, don't just find out about God. Find out about the man too. You know, the Bible says it is seen to minister above your level of grace. It says to minister according to the level of grace. This is the Jesus that we present to the nations. The one who can heal, the one who can bless. My dear, don't be embarrassed, but I want, what's your name? Florence. Florence. Yes, sir. Don't be embarrassed, I want to pray for you. Yes. I'm seeing a lot of miscarriages. Nine miscarriages, sir. How many? Nine. Nine. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over these people standing. Help her. The power of God is coming on her. Ah. There is nothing you cannot do. The name of Jesus Christ please just make contact with your stomach as a prophetic point of contact in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God I join my faith with the angel over this house and in Jesus name I prophesy to you who are standing here according to the time of life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God return with miracle children Look what is happening to this woman. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. I release every chain that holds anyone here, in the name of Jesus. Whether you're standing in for yourself, you're standing in for your children, in Jesus' name, the Christ of God, return with testimonies. What I'm saying, the Lord is asking me to rebuke delay. Now, listen, please. You know that the spirit of delay is at work in your life when the only thing that goes forward is your age. The only thing, help that, please, help that man. The only thing that moves forward is your age. It says, The spirit of God is upon me. I want to pray for you. The power of God will come on a few of you. Please, whether you are an usher or not, do well to help them so they don't enjoy themselves. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone under the sound of my voice, please return back. Who is a victim of delay? Right now, as I pray, the power of God will come on you. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, one, two, three, take that place. Bring them out. Bring them out. Help them. Please bring them out. Hold that lady. Let her not enjoy herself. I cause delay. You are a spirit. We stand in the name of Jesus, sitting on the destinies of men. Every spirit. Help this woman. Help this woman behind the man of God, please. Shake it back at Delay. Go. Delay. Go. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay from your life, from your habitation. I cause delay. There is power in the name of Jesus. 
in one minute and cause every delay I release myself now in the name of Jesus are you praying you came to church to pray lift your voice and pray under this corporate anointing every delay help them that will not let me go in the name of Jesus I decree and declare liberty by the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. My goodness. Anyone here experiencing delay? That people are moving forward but your destiny is staying in one place. Birthday after birthday, I stand in the name of Jesus. By prophecy, I push you to the next level. I push you to the next level. I am shake a break a toast, a break a toast, a break a a shake a break a toast, a I push you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Entrepreneurs, business people, I want to pray for you. You see, there is a grace for visibility. It is one thing to have products and services that are needed and useful. It is one thing to package those products in a superior way. It's one thing to have the ability to serve it to a targeted consumer base. But you need the grace that makes for visibility. In Acts chapter 12, the Bible says Peter was bound hand and feet and there were about eight soldiers locking him in the prison. Listen carefully. Acts chapter 12. Then the Bible says when the angel came, the chains fell off and it reveals there a mystery. He says that he went through the first gate. He was out of the prison, but he was still not saved. He went to the second gate. Then the Bible makes an instructive statement that he came to the iron gate that opens up to the city. There is a gate that opens up to the city. Listen carefully. When that gate is open, all you see is the city. It's a gate that controls visibility. It is the iron gate. You can have products and services. You are not in prison. But the city does not know you are there. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the brass of iron in sunder. Are you ready to receive? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. The grace that makes for visibility. You don't have to bring them under the anointing because of space. But I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the number taxi one, three, one. In the name of Jesus, everyone here. Who has what it takes for the world to celebrate you? Everyone here, dreams and visions, Abanakata, help them. Products and services, you have labored, you've been well mentored, but something is covering your visibility. By this grace, in the name of Jesus, take that anointing. I command the city to hear you. Let us hear them. Let us hear them. Lagos, hear them. Southwest, hear them. Nigeria, hear them. Shall 
Please pay attention while still pray. Can I pray for restoration? There is a grace that restores. Son of man, he said, can these bones live again? Hear me. Every time there were losses in the battle of any kind, it was the office of the prophetic to bring restoration. Any kind. Whether it was the axe head or the wives of the sons of the prophet. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. It is the office of the prophetic to speak restoration. He said they are taken for a prey and none say it, restore. You can lose things, but when you lose time, you really lost. But in the economy of God, he can restore things and he can restore time. Listen to me. There are people by the normal sequence of life you should not be at this level. Things happen in your life. Restoration is not progress. Restoration is beyond progress. If you have been impeded by life, once that constraint leaves you and you move forward, that's not restoration. That's progress. Restoration is God picking you and placing you where you would have been if that challenge were not there. Do you believe this? Please believe please believe please believe i want to declare restoration you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you at this prayer in the name of jesus i call upon the god of my covenant for everyone here who is trusting god for any kind of restoration every destiny helper that must be used in this season to bring about a restoration I provoke their ministry over your life. I provoke Abadus Kali Karabatisya. I provoke their ministry over your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God is a God that heals. I have been a victim of sickness myself. I know what sickness can do. I have seen the healing power of God myself. I know healing is real. There are men and women here following by TV, internet, and here in our local environment, you are trusting God for miracles, healing miracles. Listen to me. Jesus heals. His power heals. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. I want to pray for you right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with you. The glory of the Lord. You're the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with you. The glory of the Lord. Let the ways of your love and glory fall on us. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom that it reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Please hear me. Are we together? Please lay your hands. I want to pray. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles. 
Jesus in the name of 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 Jesus now every devil that is part of any infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that your power is broken now let God's people go free now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God just have those under the anointing be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name the power of God is going through your body now. Help them, please. Help them. Be healed in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be open now. Partial, complete blindness be open now. There are some people having pain. Pain at the back side, your lumbar vertebra. Be healed. The power of God is touching you right now. Every kind of bone condition. You're here, you're on crutches. You're on a wheelchair, you don't have to bring them out. You don't have to bring those under the anointing out. There's no space because some other people will come. You're on a wheelchair, you're on crutches. Right now I declare in the name of Jesus, stand up. Stand up and lift your crutch and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every blood condition, every genotype issue, we change it now. HIV, be healed now. Cancer, be healed now. The Lord is ministering to me. You don't have to come out. There are a number of ladies with multiple lumps around your breast area. The power of God is touching you right now. After this prayer, you'll check it. You will not find it again. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a, I don't know if it's a, there's a, there's a gentleman, you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck. After this prayer, you check it right now. you find out that it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, every blood condition goes right now. Migraine headache, very severe pounding migraine headache. The Lord is healing you right now. I'm seeing someone, you have this recurrent pattern. It's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria. Every month, no matter how well you treat it, it still comes back. The power of God is touching you right now. I'm seeing three people. The Lord is healing them from pile. In fact, for one of you, it's a very severe issue. You cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain. We come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be healing for you. I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones, lifting the pictures of your loved ones, wherever they are. 
and those of you following by way of TV, following online, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes, to your offices, in the name of Jesus, your homes, your offices, your devices, let there be miracles, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, your, your, this is my right, your right ear, your right ear, you feel, you know how this is like there's water, you are trying to get it to come out. As soon as we are done praying, check yourself, you'll find out that a miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus, there is a woman, you're, you're not exactly a young lady. I'm seeing that, um, I don't know, it's not appendicitis, but there is a severe, it looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray for you, I command that mass to disappear now. The Lord is showing me a family, your mother, mama is in the hospital right now as I am speaking. The power of God is touching her where she is. This is, this is a teaching hospital. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Now, for time's sake, whether I mention your case specifically or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, he's been exalted both as Lord and as Christ. I declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Oh. Celebrating miracles. My God is able to just miracles are happening In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone, everyone, lift your voice. You are lifter. This is me, oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. 
the bible says sarah conceived you don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception there are visions there are things you can carry your mind is a womb too and bear abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the lord god has spoken father as you have spoken do to me as you have spoken do to me tonight Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on, please. Don't, don't run through yourself. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing the name Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olu Shegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olu Shegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olu Shegun. From where? From Tokyo. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage the of my friend for us. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God. Oh, God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama, please lay your hand on. I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. I want to rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call, if and when administered within the boundary of scripture, and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible 
when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that i was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until i studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but i searched searched search and i did not really find anyone i know operating this dimension of what what is about to happen and because of that i went to scripture and then i found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and i would see light would point a particular region and the moment i announce it all the people from that region the power of god begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life i said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying kogi state kogi state bring them out kalatuski debra katushiata kebrantos kalibra katushiata kogi state God is bringing deliverance. There are foundations, there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down. In the name of Jesus, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic. To this day, doesn't matter what local government. In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we arrest everything. Please don't come out on your own. Palisa Breketushi Atakara in the name of Jesus hallelujah these things are manifestations of the spirit it is to profit the believers hear me except God is not God everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help them, please. It must let you go now. It must let you go now. Covenant. It must let you go now. Yokes of ancestry. It must let you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah now there is someone here in politics the power of God is coming on you I'm not I'm not a politician I don't play politics I'm a man of God but I love politicians I love great people I don't run away from them we are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now I'm talking the power of God is coming on the person just hold the person I want to prophesy if that is a woman just hold her i want to speak to her because i'm seeing her climb a ladder there is a strange political door that is about to open up for her listen this is the house of god it's impossible to come here and return back minister dusin already told us here i am that i am just keep her there you don't have to lift her just keep her there madam we respect you we do not insult your pedigree in any way it's just to speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ, I come, I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason, I stand in the name of Jesus. You see, every state rises based on the king priest prophet formation. The king priest prophet formation. I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone here politically, May my God lift you to the next level. 
may my God lift you to the next level by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? OJO. -O. What's your name? Huh? Give P is the mic working. What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, I'm speaking to you now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, may that door be opened now. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media, help us. I'm a politician. You are a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, 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 I don't know whether, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down right now. I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Madam, can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Please come. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you try to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking. I'm bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm seeing. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. The Bible says even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But he says even the lawful captive. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus inside here, following online at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he is the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflow. Father, there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage. All kinds, bondages of delay, bondages of retrogression, the ill speakings of people. And the Bible declares for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest, that he may destroy the works of the evil one. Therefore, Lord, as we lift up this shout, the healer, the same way the walls of Jericho fell, let everything that does not name the name of Christ give way. Are you ready now? At the count of three, one, two, three. 
three, shout Jesus. I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God, oh, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name and office above every other office, above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now was you pray please bring them out some of you are representing families god is asking me to pray the power of God is going to come upon you, but it's not just for yourself, it's for your entire family. Not every family represented here, Makato Skeba, that is under any kind of yoke, I declare by the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that yoke is broken now, broken now, broken now, broken now. Every time good things are about to manifest, you keep walking, but just when it's about to happen, you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things. Anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough, may fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll. To the Lord of Lords. We will pray. From the rising of the sun to Hallelujah. Elijah. I'm hearing a name, Elijah. Elijah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people and the lord is telling me this is i'm seeing written on it good news i'm seeing the number 71. just stretch your hands towards me father hold on please from my left to my right everyone who must receive this inside outside right now i stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you help them please in the name of jesus sounds of good news sounds of good things sounds of good help them some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years by the power of the holy ghost suddenly What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? Pastor. You are a pastor. Where? I will. You have your own church? Can I pray for you? Please. You are Elijah. Hold on, please. Don't. Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers and God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. 
the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave and I saw it open and I saw things not people things that are there coming out I'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the holy ghost sign up i pray for all of you in the name of jesus christ may the power that raised christ from the dead rest upon you my dear this lady shout jesus as loud as you can My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes. Where? In Cuba. I'm selling gas. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, Refining of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes. Sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up. My friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. Even if it is three months, in the name of Jesus, barrenness dies now. Barrenness dies now. Barrenness dies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I pray for you. According to the time of life, in the name that is above all names, go and tell your husband that the Lord has brought visitation for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her please. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you, Zaina. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bring a visitation for your family. A supernatural visitation. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you, by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may god surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly i'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you're a worker here you're a new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious i'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter This is the place of surrender.
sir. Don't worry, I'll still pray for you. Ah, you are. We love our workers. You are faithful. How could I'm just trying to say that this is was not the word. You understand? But it means that. Listen, whether God gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not, the prophecy of Scripture is valid. You can use the prophecy of Scripture and prophesy to yourself, and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you. No matter how accurate what we say is, we still see in part. The word of God, scripture, must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word. This becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name, and even if there is time, we do not have, the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and angels, though I understand all visions and all of that, we are limited. But it's for you to believe. Sir, I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Abuja, yeah. Can I pray for you? God is lifting people. This is what I'm seeing. God is lifting people. God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen i want to pray for them because the lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the lord is showing me sir may my god bless you in the name of jesus and for you sir may my god please stand up you're a worker what do you want god to do for you Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more 
the Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship, let it speak in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband, madam, or over your wife, sir, or over your children, or over your parents, I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus that thing is destroyed now. Destroyed now. Destroyed now. Help them. Destroyed now. Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now he's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle. They are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we will not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir. Come again. No, that is either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman. I am this. Our alignment. There are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destiny tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with god don't ask god to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus that he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir it's important you see i know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in zaria um day before yesterday and i was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now i'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here i don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but jesus still heals are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The master touched me. And oh, what joy. 
shout of a gentleman and a lady the moment that shout happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move a gentleman and a lady now we're ready to pray please I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God the healing anointing is flowing here in the name of Jesus Christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening I command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of Jesus Christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, lift the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's I think I'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a lady here you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls is this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of God is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you 
I'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh, what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of God is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep I think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of God is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in Jesus name in the name of Jesus and then I'm seeing someone until now I think you have a problem with your shoulder I don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as I pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of God has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then I'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now you know you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lungs the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God I command you to go out now <laughs> hallelujah huh? I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of Jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty I declare be released right now Sugar diabetes be healed now. Hepatitis be healed now. Uh, the Lord is showing me someone. Is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something? And your rib area is like you fell down right there. And from that day till now, there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Father, I want you to believe right now. The anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command 
I pray for you. You don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now. In the name of Jesus, whether in ministry, whether in politics, in business, there are parliamentarians here, there are people from everywhere. There are business people, veterans in business, civil service, I pray. The unction required for the next level of your results. I stand here and I declare, let it come upon you now. I decree and declare, you will check all these requests and you will not find any left. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever must send for you in this season, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the book of remembrance be opened now. If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah Every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be answered tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever has failed in your hands, in the name of Jesus, go back and succeed. <laughs> whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. I'm going to make the altar call shortly, but let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. Grace for prayer, fasting, word study, worship. May that grace rest upon you now. Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names, find favor with them. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures. Find favor with government. Find favor with captains of industry. Find favor with gatekeepers. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything you came with tonight as a point of contact, I declare by the Spirit of the Living God, whether it's a document, your credentials, whatever it is, I release my faith and I agree with you. Even as you have lifted it up, you remain lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach, we call it by name and we banish it from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of the Christ. I clear it out of your life. I clear it out of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ.
the Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm saying I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now we command that door open now. We command that door open now. We command that door open now. Take it back to go to Prakato Sata. Be open now. In the name of Jesus, open up Gita and Gita. Be open now. Tonight is a very serious night. The Lord is opening my eyes in a vision. I'm seeing people standing, but I'm seeing their faces covered. This is what this is what the Lord is showing me. Please, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. The Lord brought us here to build us. You see, when the face of a man is covered in the realm of the spirit, number one, there can never be visibility for such a person. Number two, the doors of favor would be closed over that person. I'm going to minister the power of God and I want you to bring those people out. Those at the overflows can just come to their projector stand. We need to tear off that veil. Hari Sedakatusia. Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Parotos Kupata that is responsible to bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here. You have integrity, you are walking in grace, but there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen. There are captains of industry right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the Holy Spirit turn those fails right now turn those fails right now turn it into a prayer every fail covering the glory of God upon my life he says for thou O Lord art a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now you came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, at the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my head. Hello, Madonna. Except God did not send me. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke, over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I stand by the rod of the prophetic. I declare judgment on strange spirits, judgment on foundation, judgment on yokes of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. 
Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night. Bring them out. The force that will not let you go. This is Koinonia. The force that will not let you go. I stand by the God of heaven. The God of Shaturon that rides upon the wings of the wind. I declare must let you go now. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces, familiar spirits that stand to shut doors. I'm praying for business people. I stand by the unction of Jesus and I declare anyone here in business, whatever power has refused to let you advance, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, it comes under fire. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your destiny. Release your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, say unto God, how terrible are thou in your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go, hear me? I don't care what it is called. Blood disease, genotype issues, recurrent things, eating your finances, destroying the destiny of your family. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now. All kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name that is above every other name. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Blood condition. Be healed. Heart condition. Be healed. Migraine. Be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmity. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours, between now and the end of this month. I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. The Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems, all kinds of abdominal problems here. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's. I think I'm right. 
that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of jesus i declare may the power of the holy ghost touch you now may the power of the holy ghost touch you now be healed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a lady here you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls is this this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of god is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what do they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now you no know, you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lungs the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command you to go out now hallelujah i'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you there this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you, be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area 
but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my Vengeance, God of vengeance, has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Father, I want you to believe right now. The anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command i pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now I decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord I agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of Jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. I'm going to make the altar call shortly, but let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. Grace for prayer, fasting, word study, worship. May that grace rest upon you now. Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you, 
in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ And everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of the Christ I clear it out of your life I clear it out of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now 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 take it back to go to to be open now in the name of Jesus open up Peter and Peter be open now Tonight is a very serious night. The Lord is opening my eyes in a vision. I'm seeing people standing, but I'm seeing their faces covered. This is what this is what the Lord is showing me. Please, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. The Lord brought us here to build us. You see, when the face of a man is covered in the realm of the spirit, number one, there can never be visibility for such a person. Number two, the doors of favor will be closed over that person. I'm going to minister the power of God and I want you to bring those people out. Those at the overflows can just come to their projector stand. We need to tear off that veil. Hari Sedakatusia. Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Stupata that is responsible to bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here. You have integrity, you are walking in grace, but there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen. There are captains of industry right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those fails right now burn those fails right now turn it into a prayer every fail covering the glory of God upon my life he said for thou O Lord at a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the holy ghost and it must give way now you came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O Lord, 
have to shoot for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my head. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night. Bring them out. The force that will not let you go. This is Koinonia. The force that will not let you go. I stand by the God of heaven. The God of Shaturon. That rides upon the wings of the wind. I declare must let you go now. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces, familiar spirits, that stand to shut doors. I'm praying for business people. I stand by the unction of Jesus and I declare anyone here in business, whatever power has refused to let you advance, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, it comes under fire. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your destiny. Release your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, say unto God, how terrible are thou in your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go. Hear me? I don't care what it is called. Blood disease, genotype issues, recurrent things, eating your finances, destroying the destiny of your family. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now. All kinds of spirits that are at the back of mysterious infirmities. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name that is above every other name. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Blood condition. Be healed. Heart condition. Be healed. Migraine. Be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmities. Let me pray 
pray one more prayer whoever is sitting on what is yours between now and the end of this month i stand by the god of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy please hear what i'm saying again i repeat whoever is sitting exchanging your destiny by the god of heaven i declare my god will uproot them my god will uproot them my god will uproot them We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.